Good morning, children. How are you all doing today? Wow, I'm so happy to be here with you this beautiful Sunday morning. How has school been for all of you? Going great? Awesome. Now, settle down, settle down. I hope you have your Bibles and you have your notebook to write down. We have an amazing story for you this morning. Now, this is the week where we are celebrating love. Yes, it's what we all know as Valentine's season, right? But then I have a question for you. Do you know how easy it is to love somebody who is not lovable? For example, a guy that bullies you in school or a teacher that is not really nice to you in school. Or one of your friends that is just being nasty sometimes to you. Do you love them? How easy is it for you to love somebody who is not very nice? So today's story is about how we can love the unlovable, somebody who doesn't deserve our love because of what they do. Now there was a man named Zacchaeus and we're gonna find out how Jesus showed love to him. But before we go into that, it's time for us to pray. Let's pray children. Close your eyes and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful day. It's such a joy for us to come to learn about you. And so, Lord, as we learn to know what love is and how to show love to the unlovable, we ask you to open our eyes and our hearts to see how you love us and how we should love others as well. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. It's time to look into today's story, children. I hope you have your Bibles, your pencils, your pen, and your journal to take down some notes. Okay, so let's go right in. Today, we are looking at loving the unlovable. And the story we have is about Zacchaeus, the tax collector. And you can find this story in Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. So let's dig in. Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem, and they were passing through the city of Jericho. What do you know about the city of Jericho? Do you remember the story about the walls of Jericho falling flat after God's people sang and danced and praised him? Yes, that was the story. So Jesus was passing on his way to Jerusalem. He went through the city of Jericho. And Jesus was in a large crowd of people, many of whom wanted to see him. There was a man in Jericho called Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector. He was very rich, but tax collectors had a bad reputation for gaining money by corruption. Now let's look closely at who is a tax collector. Tax collectors took money from the people and gave it to the Roman government. People didn't like the tax collectors because they cheated the people and charged more for their taxes. And then they keep the extra money. Jesus knew that most people didn't like tax collectors. Zacchaeus wanted desperately to see Jesus, but the crowd was in his way. And being a short man, he couldn't see over the taller people in his way. So, what did he do? He ran on ahead and climbed up a sycamore tree so he could see when Jesus came by. When Jesus got to the tree, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today is my day to be a guest in your home. Wow. How would you feel if Jesus was coming to visit you at home? Happy? 
Yeah. Wow. Jesus is coming to my house. You will run along and tell your mommy and your daddy, get something ready for Jesus. He's coming to my house. I'm so happy. Or you'll be delighted. Yes. Oh, wow. Jesus. I'm so excited. He is coming to my house. Or would you be shocked? Oh, my God. Oh, seriously? Jesus, are you for real? Are you coming to my house? I'm shocked. I can't believe it. Or would you be worried? Oh, my toys are all over the place. I have to go and get my room ready. My clothes are untidy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, really? Do you have to come now? I'm so worried. <laughs> How would you feel if Jesus was coming to visit you? at home. Let's find out how Zacchaeus felt. Zacchaeus was delighted. Teachers like Jesus usually avoided tax collectors as they had such a bad reputation. But Zacchaeus was delighted to know that Jesus was coming to visit him. So he warmly welcomed Jesus into his home. But the people grumbled. Mm, this man, Jesus, has gone as a guest to the home of a sinner. Mm, why did he go to the, to the home of a sinner like Zacchaeus? They grumbled. They grumbled. Zacchaeus stood up and told Jesus, Listen, listen, Jesus, I will give half of my belongings to the poor and if i have cheated anyone i will pay back four times as much now why did he decide to do this think about it zacchaeus was so sorry for his sins and he wanted to change his life and to do the right thing so he promised jesus to give half of his belongings to the poor and for whoever he has cheated he will pay back four times as much wonderful jesus was so happy and said to him today a person has been saved in this house this man is a jew also i have come to seek and save the lost. Now, what does it mean to seek and save the lost? What is Jesus talking about? Jesus is saying to the people, I have come to the world to look out for people that are lost and to save them. To save them. And that is why we know from the Bible that there is no other name that can save anyone except the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let's look at the story closely. How can you apply this story to your life? I'm sure you know a couple of people that are mean to you, maybe at school. Maybe there are some bullies in your class. They push you around. They take your pencils or your notebooks without asking you. Sometimes they even take your lunch or your snacks. Yes. And you don't like them. And you're thinking, how can I love somebody like that? That was exactly how Jesus felt. But then again, he went to the house of Zacchaeus, the tax collector, who nobody likes, who nobody wants to be friends with. He went to visit him and he helped Zacchaeus to do the right thing. Jesus showed Zacchaeus love. And that was why Zacchaeus became changed and became a good person instantly, promising to give back all the money that he has taken from people. So, what have you learned from this story this morning? It is to be like Jesus, to love those who you think are unlovable. Perchance, you're loving them 
you will change them and make them good people. Now let's go into the memory verse. The memory verse for today's lesson can be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 7. And I'll read from the New Living Translation. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 7. It says, love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Let's read it one more time. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. And that is the memory verse. Make sure you write it down and you read it again and again. God's story, Zacchaeus. So part of God's story is about Zacchaeus and it begins like this. Once there was a man named Zacchaeus, let's call him Zac, who lived in a town called Jericho. He was short and he didn't have many friends. In fact, most people hated Zac. That's because he worked as a tax collector. See, back then people paid taxes just like now. But instead of sending money to the government, there were men in every city whose job was taking tax money from people. Problem is, those men usually lied. Zach, like most, took a lot of extra money from a lot of people. And all those people hated him. Anyway, one day Jesus came to Zach's town, and Zach wanted to see him. But so did everybody else. And remember how Zach was really short? Well, he couldn't see Jesus over everybody else's head. So guess what he did? He actually climbed up into a tree to look out over everybody. Now, imagine a grown man climbing up in a tree in the middle of a crowd. People probably thought he was crazy or weird, but Zach was willing to look weird if it meant getting closer to Jesus. From up in the tree, Zach watched as Jesus walked up. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today is my day to be a guest in your home. This was kind of like a famous person inviting themselves over except way better. This invitation would change Zach's life. Zach scrambled down the tree to take Jesus to his house. Maybe he thought Jesus didn't know about all the money he had taken or how everybody hated him. But Jesus did know, and he loved Zach anyways. Other people saw this and they were mad. They said, Jesus has gone into the house of a sinner. They wondered how Jesus could love somebody who had lied and stole their money. The great thing is, Jesus loves all of us, even after we've done things we deserve to get in trouble for, or even after we actually get in trouble. When we see that Jesus loves us anyway, it makes us want to show that kind of love to others. At least that's what happened to Zach. Right away, he wanted to make things right with the people he had hurt. He knew that just saying, I'm sorry, wasn't enough. So he told Jesus, I'm going to give half of what I have to the poor, and anyone I cheated, I will pay back four times the amount of money I took. When Jesus saw that Zach was willing to accept his love and turn around and show it to others, he said, My friend, today God has rescued you. And even though Zach had been a liar and a thief who was hated by everyone, he became a friend of Jesus and a part of God's family that very day. And that's the story of Zacchaeus. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Zach was short. He was a tax collector. He stole money. People hated him. Jesus came to town. Zach couldn't see him. He climbed a tree. Jesus told him to come down. Jesus went to his house. Jesus loved Zach. Others were mad. Zach made things right. He became a part of God's family. And that's a part of God's story. Wow, what an amazing story about Zacchaeus. Wow, what do you think? Now, I'm sure you are thinking of so many people that behaves like Zacchaeus to you, you know? They are unkind, they bully you, they tell stories about you to your friends in school, they push you around in the playground at school, or maybe you are the one bullying people and they are finding it really hard to like you. What do you think? We've learned in the story of Zacchaeus that God expects us to love other people even when they are being naughty, even when they are behaving badly towards you. You as a child of God must show love because God always, always show you love even when you are naughty and you're not doing the right thing. 
and I'm sure you've learned one or two things today from the story of Zacchaeus. Amazing. Now, it's time for us to take a prayer. If you have not made Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, or you don't know him as your friend, it's time for you to sit down and think about it and let him be your Lord and Savior and be your friend. Are we ready? Let us pray. And you can take this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for what you've done for me. I receive you into my heart this morning as my personal Lord and Savior, as my friend. I know you love me so very much and you gave your life for me. And from the story of Zacchaeus, I know that you love me even when I'm not being my best. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. It's as simple as that. Now, Jesus is your friend, is your Lord and Savior, and he loves you all of the time. Don't you ever forget that. Okay? Now, till we see you again next week, take care of yourself, stay safe, and be blessed. Love you. Bye-bye.